Good evening everybody and welcome back to the Chase is a Race YouTube channel. Welcome back to our third podcast. Will you join me with Lucky? Uh, obviously you would have noticed in the previous episode on the Pure and Waters YouTube channel where we went for a ride in his Audi RS3 and finally we have him today to comprehensively discuss his auto career, his passions, you know, what motivates him, and pretty much everything that is wrong. So there's quite a lot of things that I want to touch on. Quite a few questions I've actually been wanting to ask. So where did all of this start? Where did the love for cars start for you? Sure, what a question, Mark. Very broad. <laughs> Very broad and big. Um, it started growing up. Um, used to like, well, I used to like cars like VR6. And, uh, back then it was simple, man. I would tear mm. as long as it was done to his life. For yeah, me, yeah. Back in the day. So seeing the guys that uh, would soup up their cars and make them look nice. I think um, that's where the love started. Uh, it was beyond, you know, how fast the car is going. It was beyond how it sounds. For me, it was just about the looks. Mm -hmm. I mean, I went to a metric dance. My metric dance in a Tez that had a really? sound roof. Oh, oh wow. and it had sound, and I was happy. Happiest guy like <laughs> You know, I went to a school where people came there with Bimas and Porsche. I didn't care about that. I was a total Lokasi guy. Yeah. You know, it was very simple. I, I looked at the paint job of that test, the mm. ribbons, and an eagle. Yeah. Hey, and I was like, ah, yeah. eagle, you know what? And I just started moving, and I'm like, ah, yeah. this, this is the car I want to take. Yeah, and yeah, that's that's basically where it started. Back in the day, man, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I used to love all the 355 s Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. The E30s. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Focus, it was the, the most prominent thing, mm. the most prominent cars that you would see around. Mm. Mm -hmm. And definitely the one that always stood out. Yeah, I think, I mean, back in the day, there was the Focus ST mm -hmm. 2.5, so it was a police car back in the day. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we knew nothing about how fast the car was going. For mm. me, like I said, it was just about stunts. Just about stunts. Just about stunts. Yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. So. Now that we know the origins of your love and passion for cars, uh, your first car that you ever purchased, well, first experience actually, first driving experience before we touch on the first car that you've ever owned. Okay. <laughs> first driving experience. Yeah. The stalling, uh, you hear all that. You won't believe it. Um, my dad had a micro bus 2.1. Karaka. Yeah, but it wasn't a car car. Oh. Yeah. 2.1 is normal cheap. It's like <laughs> a city golf and then car car is like a GTI. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, but he told me I was driving that thing. And I remember the first time I stopped the car in gear and then it stalled. <laughs> <laughs> I got the most of a trap. And you know the like, gear so long, bruh. Right? <laughs> um, I think Wally was teaching me how to drive. Uh, there was a point in time where I tried putting that damn thing in gear mm -hmm. and then it went out of the link. So the gear was <laughs> <laughs> So he literally made me go underneath that car and showed me how to put it back. No. <laughs> <laughs> For me to yeah, know yeah. how to drive this damn thing. What? And yeah, I, I went out of drive, got my car passed off it, believe it or not. That is a handful. It's the same. That's a, especially for such a big car. Like yeah. with most car. So Lucky, your first car you ever purchased. So it wasn't really purchased by me. Mm -hmm. um, Even if you stole it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm not that bad. <laughs> 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 Toyota Yaris 2008. Hatchback. Um, I was actually telling the guys behind the scenes. <laughs> 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 the <head> break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So um, I did calculations. I was in second year and I was like, hey, this thing of my mom paying for my flat and you know, I, I go to school at UJ. Mm -hmm. What's the point, man? Like I just said to her, you know, take this money and just buy me a car, mm -hmm. right? And this car will all use it, mm -hmm. basically, because she didn't have a car at the time, by mm -hmm. the way. So I was like, let's just get a car for the house and then I'll go to school with it and then run errands because yeah. I just got my license. Yeah. And she agreed, she's like, yo, that's a brilliant idea, my son. Mm -hmm. And then I can still control you because then <laughs> you won't go out to parties and do yeah. all these things that you're yeah. doing in varsity and that will make me happy and then at least my dear son, you'll be home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then I report, you know, the Yaris, uh, it was stock standard. Yo, yeah. hey guys, I read one. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. I remember I used to watch that thing almost every two days. Mm -hmm. and that was the happiest person I like. Pride and joy. Pride and joy. Um, yeah. yeah. So that was the yeah. first car, right? The first, first car. And I think over the years, um, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm one person that loves stunts. So while I was working, I was studying and working at the same time. So with the money that I got, then I would save up and then I got my first set of runs. So that's mm. a 15 inch button tire, hey. you know, put that on and then I bought like a front lip and I bought xenon lights for the car. I already had like the spot lights mm -hmm. for the lights. Water. So I just changed the tubes yeah. to xenon yeah. 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 and then I bought mud flaps, you know, mm. I, made it, I, made it, I made it look like a a guy's car. Yeah. Because I mean, a Toyota Yaris is a lady's car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, sorry to Toyota, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't yeah. a car that, you know, as a boy, as a boy, you would have wanted a polo. But yeah. I mean, I thought about the fuel consumption and for the fact that I got it for like 55,000, I mean, it was a steal. Mm. Right? So, but I mean, I did all of those things over time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And that was back what, what year? Sure. Like in. 2012. 2012. Yeah, I graduated. No, I'm lying. Sorry. 2015. Because I graduated honors 2016. 2016. No, I'm lying. 2014. <laughs> 2014, third year, honors 2016. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. So Makes I went into my third year. We got the car when I was doing my second year. Mm -hmm. So I did third year having the car and then honors. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So we could definitely tell that. You know, as a car guy, you know, there's certain things that you definitely love to do with the car is to tailor personalize the car to your personal taste. Mm -hmm. So as you've mentioned, you did the lip, you did the rims, you did the mud, the mud flaps, and then with your second car that you purchased, can you tell me which car you purchased, which was the second one obviously, and what sort of modifications you did with that as well? Sure, the second car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I finished varsity and um, then I started working and I I was looking for a car and I, I mean back in the day it wasn't for me I wanted something that was going to be different mm -hmm. and something that um, I would see a lot on the roads so mm -hmm. I came across this beautiful black Focus ST. <laughs> 2.5. 2.5. Yeah. The only engine that matters. <laughs> you understand why. <laughs> um, and then I think the first thing for me was test driving the car. So, I mean, I came over here and then the, the, the guy at the dealership was like, oh, here's, here's this ST. Um, let's take it for a drive. And I think it had about 95 on the clock. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and and I was like, okay, this isn't bad for the price. So I mean, mm. that car was about 120,000. Right? That's not bad. Right. Mm. That's right. not bad. My first job, I'm not earning that much, mm. but I mean, I can afford the car. Mm. And I mean, that installment was like 2,200 or something. Wow. Like it was nothing, mm. right? Mm. Took the car for a drive. And I just fell in love with the sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. love this, uh... this engine. And then as I'm driving, and I'm driving it normal, but I'm just like, oh. mm. and then the sales guy's like, no, like let's change seats cheaper. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you all. Press through the gears, <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, this thing can this. this thing do this. <laughs> Shout. And I'm like, no, my guy, let me go think about. Right. Mm. And thinking about it for me was also just praying about it. And I was like, God, mm. please 
make sure that I'm making the right decision. Mm. And I, I don't know, the next day I just went to sign. <laughs> <laughs> Signed. Like the next day. And then I had my com- not complaints, but you know the usual. Please, mm-hmm. like, get me new tires. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Make make sure that you know you do the service on the car. You know, mm-hmm. nothing hectic. Um, I mean, I didn't know anything about this car. I really, honestly, I didn't do research. Mm-hmm. Um, I I just loved how the car looked and how different it was. Mm-hmm. It had a sunroof. It was a two door. Mm-hmm. It was a nice car. It it even came with different rims. The, the rims were sprayed weird and like. Mm-hmm. It had some black lining, you know, it was white, just looked off, but I was like, I'll work on it, mm. you know. Those are not the original rooms, the ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so, so moving, moving, uh, uh, well, as I got the car, then I started realizing that, you know what, I think I need to go spray the rooms. Mm. And then I started looking for different shades, and then I came across that gun metal stuff. Yeah, yeah. Then I sprayed the rooms, got them, got them sprayed. Um, I think that's the first to answer your question. Your next yeah. question. Modification. Modification. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we sprayed the room silver. Um, and then I remember then I think I drove the car like that for a while, mm. right? Until I started going to breakfast runs. Because mm. then um, you know on Facebook you start researching mm. like for focus STO clubs, clubs, or, yeah, clubs yeah. or whatever. And then I got invited to this West Track group. Mm. But it was well, not to say there was white people, but mm. like there was white people. You know, yeah, you know, you know, you know, and I'm there as the one of the few darky yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah, you know, and during these breakfasts, I used to love it, man. Mm. I was like, yo, yeah. so we park in a certain way, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they leave. You know, and I'm like, yo, this is the yeah, job I you know? And then I'm starting to hear these STs coming in with pipes, and I'm like, yo, yeah. what's this now? <laughs> my car is loud. Because I mean, in my hood, I'm like, I'm the only one with yeah, 2.5, yeah. and my car sounds nice, got the ah, chief. <laughs> and then I remember there's this guy, uh, Fansua, uh, he's from LRD uh, Performance, um, well, back in the day, he sold his car now. And his was like built up, guys. Mm-hmm. It was big turbo. It had the exhaust like straight through. Yeah. He had intercooler. That car sounded amazing. It and I went really up great. to him. And I went up to him and I was like, hey, Francois. I said, Francois. I don't know why I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> and I was like, hey, Francois, what did you do to this thing, bro? Like, and then he told me, he's like, no, you need to do exhaust. You know, start off slowly. Mm. Right, intake. Do your exhaust, yeah. then do intake, and then uh, do a bolt on into cooler, and then uh, soft brake, and then maybe then you'll be happy, and then start building your engine, and then doing the top. But he's like, you'll learn as you go. Mm. And now, also, when you go into the group, there's negativity. Mm. Right? Mm. So you start asking guys, so what are the issues that you find you know, with a car like this? And then they give you a whole list yeah. of things. And then that time, they're talking about. Things that you don't even you know. Don't know they like, like, yo, drive shafts! Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is a drive shaft? <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a, you know, your car can hit pistons, and I was like, I know yeah. what a piston is, but yeah. how does it hit? Yeah. Because mine is fine, guys. <laughs> yeah. I got this car 95. Yeah. You guys are talking about cars that have 200, yeah. so I think I should be fine. Yeah, you know? I'm still safe. I'm still safe. Yeah. Um, and yeah, um, I think I drove it for a while, stock. And then I made a decision to do mid packs mm-hmm. first. So- Yeah. But they were they were still subtle. Like they, they went yeah, yeah. they went go on. Then I drove that I uh, drove the car for a while like that. Um no intake as yet, man. Mm-hmm. It's still stock. Stock. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm starting to make a noise. Now people are like, hey, what's that? What car's that go <laughs> And I'm from Classic guys, man. So you can understand. Even here I'm like, no! Because <laughs> the girls are like, yo, 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 yo. who's this so guy? Hard. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I drove the car like that and then um, I heard about doing a straight pipe basically. Oh, yeah. oh. So that's how um, we cut off the box at the back. Mm, the big they, muffler. they literally built me uh, a pipe from mm. the back all the way straight through 76 millimeter like, oh. pipe. And the car was just mm. singing amazing. Uh, like that car was loud guys. Like you could hear me from from far. That this guy's coming. Yeah, up. yeah. It was loud and so that's kind of weird. Ah! <laughs> we'll talk about that. About how they used to do these guys, but it's fine. <laughs> but it was loud, like yo, it was loud. And mm -hmm. then um and then I did an intake, so I bought um a canyon filter mm -hmm. with uh I don't know what that pipe is called, Chief, but like a connector pipe. Yeah, a connector pipe to the turbo inlet, whatever, whatever it is. Or that and then the, stand, the car started making that like, sound. Hey. Two shots! Yeah. Right? Did that and then, yeah, 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 then the girls went even more crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was single, I was living at home. <laughs> yeah, man, I did intake and then. Um, Before lockdown. Yeah, like, yeah, I think the car was. Was, was just like that for a while mm. and then I think my next mod was the blow valve right so I added a blow valve to make the woo -doo 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 sound mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it didn't go woo -doo -doo. it just went it's oh. the time I got the clutch yeah. right? um, and then I was ill advised about that because um, I, I'm still on stock turbo so I don't know what closes and opens it didn't close properly mm -hmm. in the turbo and the flutter pushes back air. Mm -hmm. You guys know these things. Mm -hmm. You guys, you guys, whatever it is. So I had to take that off. And uh, I kept on putting it on, taking it off, putting it on. Because you like the sound. Because yeah. I like the sound. And then my car officially broke Oof. for the first time. And I remember um, there's there's a guy called Uncle Manny in Kudusdorp. Uh, he looked at my head and he's like, your head is done. Like, Yo. you need to change your head. I was like, what's a head? This is my cars, you know? He's like, no, your head will cost you about six and a half thousand. Mm. And then the labor will be about three, three no. eight. And at that time... Yeah. And at that time... No, that's a lot of money. I'm still taking the king. I don't have no <laughs> Yo! But yeah, man, I think I love that car. So I, 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 I got that done. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how, but I had the money and I just got it fixed. And they actually found so many parts in the car missing. So I can't was explain it, but there, there, was, there was a lot of parts that whoever sold the car to the dealership to mm -hmm. took shortcuts. Oof. Right? Mm. So there was pipes missing that were going into the turbo. Mm. There was a lot of things, there was a lot of things that were wrong. Like, and you were driving the car like that. And I was driving the car just like that. Yeah. Right? So Oh. And then the guys there at the workshop and Uncle Manny, they made a plan for me and then they got it fixed and then my car was running again and I was happy. Mm -hmm. right. uh, I think a couple of months later, I decided to drive down to meet the love of my life mm -hmm. at a house in Limpopo. So she, she went to Limpopo and I wanted to surprise her. Mm -hmm. right. So I drove down to Limpopo um, with the car. From Joburg, from Joburg all the way there to the Wakum. And I got there, right? I got there. I think it was uh, our daughter's birthday at the time, so I wanted to surprise her and the daughter. Mm -hmm. And then I got the gift, and then I drove the car back. <coughs> so I drove to the Wakum and back the same day. Same day? Yeah. And then I think two weeks later, I decided to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> the car was like, ah, now we're testing it. stretching it now. So I drove there and then I booked, you know, and then I got to spend time with them. You know, I got to meet the father, the mother. You know, now they see, who's this guy in the car that's so loud? And, you know, Ashna keeps saying that, hey, it's, uh, it's, it's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> with the street fight. Yeah, the street fight. And yeah, the car's clean. It's a storm of wires. <laughs> you know, I'm looking dapper, bruh. Yeah. And then 
I think on the Sunday I had to drive back uh, to Joburg, right, which I did. And then as I got to the first toll gate in King Toll Gate, we from the one, after yeah, Polokan. Polokan. Yeah. Ah, I don't know. Okay, there's a toll gate, and then but uh, it's before it's before Kranz opens. Yeah, 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 before yeah, that, before that, yeah. I can't remember, but. Yeah. There was a toll gate, I just paid the toll gate and then I just hear this noise. Ish. Right? Oof. And I'm like, how oh, guys, maybe I got a flat tire because it sounded like it was a flat, right? So I stopped on the side of the road and I'm still in Molokwan, I remember. Mm -hmm. Very, oh. very far from home. Um, and then I found that the engine had tilted to the left. What? Right? <laughs> what? And then I'm like, I know. Okay, my tire is fine, <laughs> but the engine is tilted. But I'm like, okay, well, what? nothing is wrong. So I got back in the car, I started at the car turns. It makes the very nice, I put into gear one, I hear this noise, it gets worse, like it's some grinding noise, right? So then I open my engine again, and I'm like, hey man, something is wrong. Yeah. Maybe I'm from Limpopo, so maybe someone did something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I'm like, oh, what? but this car starts, guys. What's wrong, right? What? Oh. Um, to cut a long story short, I texted on the group and I took a picture. And then the one guy was like, so your engine mount, the engine mounting just broke. Right, so now your engine is sitting on your drive shaft. Ooh. And if you're going to keep driving the car, it's going to snap the drive shaft. So park it there, get a tow truck. Get it to Manny's workshop and then you'll do the fix for you. Because you are meant to either you're meant to either connect it back and it will just screw back on, or you need to grind some piece off and then do a bottom nut, right? To fix it. I'm like, I don't know what now you're yeah, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> what is an engine mount? I'm standing there. What is an engine what mount? That? And the guy was like, oh my god, it's fine. Uh, Take the car back to wherever you were, and then whoever you find as a mechanic will be easy. I'll tell him what to do mm. on a video call. And I was like, good. Uh, shout out to Nick who helped me with that. I hope you'll watch this. Mm -hmm. But anyway, now, uh, eight, it's late now. It's five hours later, the tow truck comes. Yay! And then, now my car is on a lift, and I'm sitting there in the middle of the seat, <laughs> driving back. Back to my girlfriend's place. Mm. Ooh. And I get there, the father's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then? <laughs> Yo. I was the mom said bang. So I go. put the car back, we push it back in, and I go back to the, the, the room that I had to rebook again, because I can't sleep there. Yeah. Uh -uh. Sure. Yo. The following day, get the mechanic, and then they show him what to do. But Luckily, he just screwed it back. He screwed the engine mounting back and it held, right? And then I got to drive the car back uh, to, to, to my place in Gajis. On my way there, by Cradle Stone Mall, up that hill, it broke again. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> it broke again and I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to sleep here. It's oh. Fine. So I slipped in the car. Slipped in the car. We need a we need a separate podcast. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, bro, I broke again. No so way. I slept in the car, I told my mom, like this car just broke, man. You know, so I'm gonna look, I'm gonna sleep in here. I'll, Uncle Manny's place is like by Key West. Uh, if you know the West Rand. Mm -hmm. So I'll take a taxi fire there, call the guys to come and help me and get this things this thing officially fixed. Which they did in the morning. Uh, we were able to, to get another engine mount that was already cut to the bottom nut, so we just replaced it and my car started that paper and went home. So that was the end of my problems. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Mm. But I loved that car. Yo, I loved it. Yeah, I know. Next podcast, eh? <laughs> Specifically. Lucky is a Ford, literally. Yes. Not even half the story. It's not even. Car. It's not even. <laughs> to cut a long story short, <laughs> I had to rebuild that engine three times. Yeah. yeah. Three damn times I had to rebuild that engine. Three so, times. Yeah, and then on the third time I got the car right was when I decided to pop it for a while mm -hmm. until someone nagged me <laughs> to, to buy it off me. 
And then he broke it. That's not. <laughs> we ain't hungry no more either, bruh. So I can tell you definitely were emotionally attached to this car. I mean like from the sounds to the driving dynamics, which kind of leads us down to the 2.5 inline 5 turbocharged car. Because I think after this, I'm assuming you went for the Audi RS3. Yeah. Right. But before that, did the Mazda come first? Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while I had the Focus ST, I mean, I fell in love with the engine, mm -hmm. um, basically the sound of the engine, and I started now seeing uh, guys from the Crazy Crew, shout out to them, Abu Klaas, Abu Lezi, Abu Tao, they were revving the, the lights out of their cars and every run they were going to. Yeah, it's a so, must. Like the launch, and especially Klaus's car, because he had the frequency intelligent exhaust in his 2016 Audi RS3. Mm -hmm. It sounded amazing, bro. Like it even gave me, like, you know, those nights where you sit and you watch their videos at 12. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching, bro. Really like, yo. And then I was like, and at the time, guys, like, you need to understand that I, I, I couldn't afford it. Mm. Right? Um, I was like, this car's too expensive. And I mean, back then I was the 8 v one and it was about 400 and something, 500, 600,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, the 8 v was about 400, and then the, the 8 v one was about 600. I was like, I can't afford it. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And then obviously you, you, you work harder and you know, through God's grace you get promotions, you get better jobs and mm -hmm. you get to a point where you, 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 you can see that you know, your goals are getting closer and closer. Mm -hmm. And then my partner and I decided to have a baby. <laughs> you know? Or is three? Yeah, yeah. Like so three. before then, mm -hmm. before then um, we had a baby. And then we had to then uh, decide on getting a car because this now damn 2.5 is breaking down so many mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. And I remember it parked like for three months at our estate. We parked it in a little naughty corner. And it was actually after Sean's birthday. <laughs> okay, guys, I need to tell the story, right? So we found Sean's birthday. Oh, the most amazing birthday ever, right? Yes, the food. The food. <laughs> Yeah. And then me and my woman now we're driving, cruising on that, we're doing a hundred bro. Hundred, we're cruising, we just talking about how beautiful the night was and how amazing everyone was, you know. And then close to one of Africa, does this car not decide to just switch off? Uh, no warning, no engine light, nothing. 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 It just went No on the way. And I'm on the fast lane dog. Come on. So I stop on the side of the road and I'm like, ah, baby, it's the usual. Like, <laughs> that is now. Like, so let's just chill and give it a moment. It will, it will come back. I know you. I know you. And give it a moment and I start starting this thing and it doesn't want to start. So start it again, doesn't want to start. And we towed it back home with KK. Shout out to him for helping us that day. Yo, with a tow, we towed it home. Man. Yeah. Told it home and then my woman was like, I'm not I'm not doing this. <laughs> Pregnant, so I can't have a car that's going to do this. And then that's when we decided to get the Mazda. Mm -hmm. So we got the Mazda CX-5, your beautiful car. Mm -hmm. um, we took it for, for a test drive and then she was sold on it and it was practical. I mean, we were mm -hmm. about to have a baby. Mm -hmm. We needed the space and I wanted to make sure that she's also comfortable and something that she will love mm -hmm. and something that she will be able to keep. Mm -hmm. And not drive. And drive. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> which is not <laughs> which is not very big one. Why are you trying? We had an amazing drive to Bumalana. Yo, that was the most beautiful thing. Right? So we went to Nyanza. Did I go? No, no. Yeah, we we took the drive. We took the drive close to the Kuga. Somewhere, what's that place called, Joe? Where by Magmag Falls and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Where the Kuga Gate is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we went. We went there, <laughs> um, and then we drove back. And yo, I loved, I loved the car. Like it was practical, it was really efficient, it was reliable. Yeah. But then we have something that we can start today and go to Durban and back mm -hmm. without yeah. having issues. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and funny thing, um, I remember we were driving the car and it was almost becoming dark and then, you know, your cluster lights now start becoming dim mm -hmm. and then I got a panic attack and I was like, oh my this, god, no. this car just break! <laughs> Because of what the STS yeah. is. So, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. And the truck. Yo, the car. Hey, traumatized one. Yo! <laughs> But I, like, yeah, I love that car. <laughs> yo, yo, I still do. Like till today, I still mm -hmm. love that car. So now you you had the Mazda. Uh, so now how did how did the whole ST and uh, sorry the RS3 thing come about? Because I think at that time you're now focusing on family. Uh, the whole dream of the RS3 was in the back seat. So what brought it back around? So so bang so, so, guys. You know, because I was meant to get the RS3 before the Mazda. Right? Oh. Yeah, so I am now, I was done basically paying the, the, the mm -hmm. ST. Mm -hmm. It was long paid off. So then I was like, okay, let's let's just get this Mazda so that I make my woman happy, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. And also have something that's very, very practical. So that mm -hmm. the day that I get the RS3, she won't be like, but. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Yeah, and it only made sense. I mean, the RS3 wouldn't be very practical with a new baby, and then you have a pram, and you have all these things. So, mm -hmm. I remember Karago then invited me to, um, we went to Rhino. There was a time we went to Rhino. Yes, in yes, yes. Right, and I remember uh, there was a lot of races that day, and then there was this white RS3, guys. And yeah, I remember... I remember that. I remember taking a video of this car and as it was launching I closed my eyes and I was like that's it. That's the one. I am done. Man. Like every time it just went like, tears in my eyes, guys, like, I was like, oh. <laughs> That's the one. And I see beating cars, I'm like, yeah. Yo. Ni 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 I'm oh, done wow. now being caught, like you know, it was a hard following the Rao. I know, but I, guys, I feel bad. Guys, it was a hard <laughs> following the Rao. I feel bad. And even Sean, bro, he's uh, 2, what was it? C, CLA 250. CLA 250. And it was late too. There's another club called the Yeah, the 435. I remember, guys, we were driving to the bar. R59. R59. These guys, are they not speeding, bro? I don't even know <laughs> where I'm going, dog. Yo. I don't even know where, but these guys are just, bro, they're <laughs> racing, they're <laughs> flying, <laughs> they're just chasing some 714. Oh, oh. You know, now I'm getting under it. I'm like, hey, what's going on, you guys? What is it? In my ST, that is. So, yeah, yeah, guys, that's what made me now just purchase, you know, my <laughs> first. Um, Propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> the RS3. And I remember that day, like it was yesterday, I was so happy. Like, I remember I I was quiet about it. Mm -hmm. like, I didn't tell anyone. Did I tell you? Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. I saw it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was quiet about it because mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think that I, 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 I could believe yeah, that exactly. I would. Yeah. I would get this car, you mm. know, because I come from now this thing that used to break and, mm. and I had all these issues and now here's this blessing, if I could call it that, mm. that comes and then now you hear that, okay, you've been pre-approved. And I was like, really? 
actually, yeah, yeah, I got the pre approval and my banker calls me. She's like, uh, yeah, no, everything is sorted, so just go sign. I was like, I, I don't believe no this. Way. Mm-hmm. And I drove to the dealership, and the lady, Sumari, shout out to her for helping me and signing documents. And then they're like, no, the car will be ready on Friday Ooh. sometime. And I was like, yeah, yeah. finally. Yeah, nice. Stella, I was like, yo, God, please, like, don't make this thing now. Get the client because of what I'm saying. Hey, 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 hey. You can't leave a house, bro. I was here, bro. I was here. I was here. Like, yo. And I didn't even tell my partner, guys. The woman that I live with, I didn't tell her. Kept no quiet. Worries. Kept quiet. But I think she could see like the open house. Yeah. Like, 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 where are you going? And I'm getting this call. No, no, no. Um, so, Mr. Mokshani, we're like, off your insurance. Nah, nah. I'm like, I, yeah, how much? Okay, 10,000. It's fine. Signed <laughs> for that. I was happy. Got the car. And later on, I discovered that 10,000 was too much for that car. Yeah. It's like, I, I, a lot of money. Yeah. But anyway, um, I think I knocked off at work, the car was ready, and I had to drive from Santon in the CX-5, and I called my woman, and I was like, come, be ready, <laughs> let's, let's, let's go, let's go somewhere. Yeah. Where are we going? I'm like, hey, just dress, let's go, please. <laughs> and then she got to the dealership, and the car was covered in a... Mm-hmm. Well, it's Audi, Audi cover, car cover. No, but it wasn't even Audi, man. It was just a black like the big car. Oh, that's it. With a bow, yeah. 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 And then, you know, she saw it and then she was like, Where are you? We told <laughs> And yeah, man, that's how I got the car. Mm. My first, the first. Um, first performance car? No, no the first. first so he got two other things. Yeah, yeah but man, Chief, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I'm gonna. It's not telling them that. Drink your whiskey, man. <laughs> Also, no. when I smoke cigars, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, not the only other three. I've got I'm joking. Okay. Yeah, it could be off guard. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo. Yeah, only people you who, who know can tell the difference. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I don't know if you could tell man, in in his video that we did, the the outro video mm-hmm. of the car driving out here. Mm-hmm. It's not this car. It's not this one. Yeah. Mm. It's the first that is coming out. The other artist is Pac. It's getting a stretch yeah. three. It's getting a stretch yeah. yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This one is just... Boss, boss, you, you, you better be prepped. Why are you better be prepped? I'm putting at John Wicked. Yo, hi, John Wick, you better be prepped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah no 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 guys no it's gone yo <laughs> I, yeah, yeah no no that car is gone um so I bought the car uh and then we drove home got home prayed well I got I drove it to my to my mom's to mm-hmm. show on the car and we prayed over it and then she was very very happy like she was like how much is this car and I'm like don't ask don't even ask me <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, and then and then we prayed over it, and then yeah, when we drove home, my woman was so happy. Like mm-hmm. I was so happy. Like I didn't even launch it. I didn't even put it in sport. Really? So I, just casually mm-hmm. driving back. I drove it like a master. I was just there, and I was just there. Oh yeah. There's a new yeah. house now. Uh, even though it wasn't new, but mm-hmm. I mean, it was new for me. Mm-hmm. Right? And I was like, finally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, finally, I get to have you, and yeah, and then I remember the following morning. Here's this car now with one punch. Yes. St vibes. Come on. And I'm like, hey, man. So I call up the salesman. I'm like, hey, my guy, come fix this tire. <laughs> this is a lot of money. <laughs> I just gave you as a deposit and everything oh. else. Come fix this thing. So then he came and then he found out that the one sensor, I don't know, one tire was letting out air, I don't know, but whatever it is. And he got that fixed. The following day, another tire. Are you joking? Really? And I was like, ah, oh, what guys? 
No one can let her be Muslim, you know. And then to cut a long story short, man, um, I think that agreement that I had with the salesman, he was trying to charm me because mm -hmm. he's probably saw how excited I was and how much I loved the car, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I remember signing signing the car. I told him that, dude, I need this car to go to Audi for a check mm -hmm. before I actually take ownership of the vehicle, mm -hmm. right? Just to make sure that the 90 point check is being done. Mm -hmm. And then Audi can officially say that, you know, they haven't found any faults and whatnot. And yeah, uh, he didn't do that. And then he just said, no, the car just came back from service. So if anything is wrong, you know, the motor plan is on a cover. And I was like, those are things that are not done as, mm -hmm. you know. You but know. I played along and then I said to him, like, let's have an agreement, right? So if I, if I take the car to Audi and I find anything wrong with it, I'll be well within my right to take this car back and uplift this deal, mm. right? And then he agreed and he was like, no, for sure, man. Ugh, you know, I don't think that you will have an issue because I, I am certain, this is his words, I'm <laughs> certain that there's nothing wrong with this car. Mm. I was like, no, sure. And I remember I put the car in, then the car came back with faults worth a hundred and what? Mm. 75,000, I can't remember. And I was like, sure, by David, I remember. Shout out to by David from Audi. <laughs> <laughs> Make me this long list. And then he, he even added, hey, maybe I shouldn't say this, but he added other things that, you know, you were like, these people need to fix this thing yeah. for you, you know? And for the, for the effort that you actually even had to drive the car here, mm -hmm. you know, they need to give you new tires. The rims were painted, you know, the calipers mm -hmm. were... Well, they were red, great. but yeah. now it is coming black, and yeah. you know there was a crack on the glass that no one could see, and then mm -hmm. they, the dealership ended up blaming me for it. They said that I cracked the windscreen, and when they wanted to replace all these things, they wanted to use third even, party. yeah third party yeah. stuff. They didn't want to use Audi like an Audi windscreen, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Um, I remember driving to this windscreen place and then they wanted to add some 83 Fimoko. Oh, come on. Sorry to Fimoko, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can't be putting it on. Yeah. On yeah. Yeah. Ah, no, yeah, I was like, no, not for this car at least. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, if you were driving car, it, then yeah. No. So, <coughs> I remember, I, I raised that car, chief. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it. Yo, I, dropped it. I took that car to the rock and I raced it. And I remember I raced. Uh, we went to Val somewhere. Hey, what happened? Yo, oh, what happened? <laughs> you remember the first time you launched it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the car was with you. Yeah, man. Yeah, you even like, launched it. Like, like, we got out. Yeah. We got you. <laughs> made a, guys, never trust the BMW driver with an Audi. This one doesn't even. It's like, can I can we try again? <laughs> <laughs> and then you part. <laughs> and then you're like, no, that's it. I'm never going to cut this. No, but you know what I'm asking you about when we were here? When we were here. What did I do? When you were dropping me off and then I said like you launch the cut. What did I do? No, we were launch, launching it like the first time you were launching it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. think it was the same night when you were talking. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. It changed your life that day. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'll drive. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I can't have this too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now, girl, I was like, hey, Joe, shut up, big too fast. Click, click twice and then put it <laughs> First RS3, I was like, yo, this is the one, man. Like, mm -hmm. it was the color, 
the rose blue, mm-hmm. the, like the silver. Yeah, the silver yeah, instead of black. Instead yeah. of black. That's how you tell I have. Um, it had the, like the quattro lights when you open. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the doors. The spiral lights. Mm. Mm. Um, what else? What else was different? So this one it had the reverse camera. Mm. It was a, I mean, it was fully well, spec'd out. Really spec, it was, yeah. yeah, it was one of those fully spec'd out start buttons. Yeah. 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 The start yeah. button, yeah. right? And I, I, I couldn't justify in my heart why I should still carry on paying for this car mm. with with how it looks and all these things that mm. Audi is complaining about. So mm. I then decided to take it back. Mm. So I owned an RS3 for two weeks, <laughs> and then I was callous again. Yo. Back to my Mazda. And my garage, guys, ne? it was the, the, the ST2.5 <laughs> and the 10 pods, guys. It's <laughs> a big 10. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know that thing that you get where you start the one car and then there's a straight pipe and then you hear the pops Perfect. and then you start the other car and then pops. And then, pops. And then you take the, 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 the ST for a <laughs> so that you just... Yeah, no, I was living like a billionaire. <laughs> 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 Cassie's <Cassidy. laughs> boy that came from the Cassie now has 10 pots. Ah, uh, my friend. Chopping life. Ah, uh, more energy. More energy. Yeah. More energy. Jeez. So the, obviously with, with this car, the driving dynamics in comparison to the Ford and the RSC is obviously way different. Because mm-hmm. one is automatic, one is manual, all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, and there's obviously a lot more safety, uh, safety aids that the RS3 has, where you can obviously push it to its absolute limits, whereas now with the ST, you really couldn't do that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, in turn, because now obviously now the power is more. Mm. So, did it take some time for you to adjust to that sort of power level? And obviously, did it overwhelm you at first? It did. It... Like I said, I mean, the drive I had with Kagamu that day, yo. Mm. Yeah, I was like, first time, 200. Oh! <laughs> first time doing an illegal speed. What is it? We're on the autobahn. Dude! Yeah. <laughs> Unlimited. Yo, so we were flying. And, like, for me, it took a lot of time to adjust because now uh, it scared me. It's, it's, it's quite it's a lot. And it's a big jump from an ST I don't know if you do remember when we came up to, like, Bayers after the, the N1. We came up to bears, um, and then all these robots that were passed that you were all the past, and then and then that's where you were like launching it for the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was the same night. It was the same night, yeah, actually. And then yeah, I did my first launch. Yeah. Um, and yo, that just changed my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is how <laughs> this is what I was listening to <laughs> with that white on the street. That was really. <laughs> <laughs> And bruh, yo, that lunch, yo, yo. Guys, I finished my petrol that day. After <laughs> dropping off Kagawa, going home. I won, I'm fun. It was empty. <laughs> <laughs> I was here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, the that's, that's the way you started becoming the I best started, to, I started, no, 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 guys. I started getting <laughs> confident. Yeah. Man, and confident in a, in a way that... In a bad way. <laughs> 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 it's not legal. It's not legal at all. Yeah, man. So, um, took the car back. I was colors. And then I had to look for another RS3. You know, and then the bank was giving me issues now. Oof. Yeah. You know, so the issues started. Um, but I also couldn't find the right car. Mm. Call it that. Mm-hmm. So I started looking around. And you know you take your time to look for a car after now I'm, yeah. I'm more informed now mm-hmm. what to look out for so mm-hmm. i started being very pedantic mm-hmm. right and i was the most difficult client ever mm-hmm. so i remember i even asked so the dealership where i bought my car in Davis 3 i was like guys i want this car to go on a lift mm-hmm. i need to check this car underneath mm-hmm. If like things like a splash, sort splash trays, mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. I need to look at if there's no oil leaks. Uh, the rims need to say that it's Audi Sport mm-hmm. and they're not painted. Mm-hmm. You know, you need to give me a ninety point check from Audi. And shout out to Autolink man and MLO. I bought my car in MLO. I drove all the way there. Sure. Yeah, you know, 
um, drove there to go see the car and I was fully satisfied. He let me test drive the car and the car had about 38,000 Ks on it. Mm -hmm. For the same price as I bought no way. the previous mm -hmm. one. So got and in better condition as well. Way better condition. He didn't make my life difficult. Uh, shout out to Fahim, by the way. Mm -hmm. He didn't make my life difficult. He did everything that I wanted. Like, and I was like, was it an accident? I wanted the car I bought. <laughs> I wanted this. He was like, no, like, like calm down now. Like, what are you doing? doing? This is too much. No. But I mean, he didn't, he didn't dispute or try and, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. try and, and then cut corners. He was like, no, I can work. Like, he even took the car on a flatbed to Audi. He didn't even drive it. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, and I was there. And I saw it with my own two eyes. Mm -hmm. wow. Driving it there. Right? And then I signed for the car and put the deposit down. And I was approved. And then, yeah, I think we fetched the car two days later. Mm -hmm. And I dubbed it. I remember my partner was driving the CX-5. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to find yeah. my controls. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this thing of you driving. She tried following me, eh? Like, she was doing 160. Yo. She was doing <laughs> illegal <speed>. speeds. <laughs> 120. Uh, 120. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She was she was really like trying to trying to follow me. Uh, Couldn't. Yeah. I then then I had the confidence and I was a bully already. Mm. So I drove from him and O'Brien. I enjoyed every moment of it being a bully. Like I had race on <laughs> and I was flat but like yo, I was tired. Foot flat yeah. all the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how I got my second RS3. So guys I only have one car. Only one. Yeah, I'm not that Lots of money, but one car. <laughs> no, no money. <laughs> I'm a father of two. No money. No money. So with with Audi, we definitely know that it's got a lot of potential in the modification scene. Where obviously internally, externally, it obviously does look good. A lot of people do rims, they drop it. But one topic I really want to touch on, and I'm really interested in, is um, the internals. So a lot of people obviously do turbos, forge the, the, the motor, the pistons, the rods, all sorts of things like that. What sort of mods are appealing or leaning towards you that you would like to do to the RSB? So for me, I don't think I want, okay, maybe let me not say this, but for now, right? I don't think I want big turbos and hybrids for now, mm. right? I think that, you know, a goal that I would like to reach is... Okay, the goal that I'd like to reach is stock turbo, injectors, intercooler, downpipe, and a stage 2 plus. Maybe with uh, water myth mm -hmm. is, is what I want. I just want a 10 second car. Mm -hmm. And that's that. You know? I think I'll want more power as soon as this guy buys his 240 and then I give him that. Gets back into the racing scene. You know? Yeah, I know. Um, but I think. <clears throat> Having a 10 second car that is reliable and it won't break, right? And yeah, with, with those, I think for me that's the most important. I think once you, and look, guys are going to say this, even a stock car breaks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I think there's safe mods yeah. where, 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 yeah. where you can, you know, adjust your boost a little bit and have a, a safe file, TCU, ECU file. Yeah. Um, you have your injectors and, you know, you have your water made for cooling and your intercooler and intake. And yeah, I think that's it for me. Mm -hmm. so those, those, are, see, those are pretty much all the questions and the discussion that we've had with Lucky today. Thank you so much for joining us on this podcast. It's truly been an honor and very, very exciting. Many laughs and we definitely learned quite a lot from you. And just thank you so much once again for joining us on this episode. Thank you to Karabu as well. Thank you to Sean just behind the camera. And thank you to all of you guys for supporting us on this journey. We'll see you on the next episode. And Peace. we'll see you at ODI where we're gonna give BMW guys Dundas.